Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we got sent another OBD2 scanner. And this one looks like it is a Foxwell NT201. If you remember a little while ago, we did a video review on the Foxwell battery tester. And it turned out to be pretty darn good. I really liked it. However, how will this OBD2 tester play out? As you guys know, these are just basic scan tools that can really just allow you to read live data and check codes. Packaging is pretty plain and boring. On the box it looks like it's got a color screen. One of the things I do like is it uh, appears to be able to graph. So that's going to be pretty good. Let's have a look here. Works with OBD2 compliant cars. Support with CAN capability. Determines why the check engine mill light is on, read codes, clears codes, turns off check engine light, resets monitors, displays complete live data stream features, on screen code definitions, freeze frame, I am readiness hotkeys, automatic VIN acquisition, and decoding makes it much easier to read manufacturer specific. So overall, first thoughts, I mean it feels pretty cheap. I mean, if you look at the buttons, they're not, like, cut perfectly. And if you look at where the USB cable connection is going to go in, it's not exactly straight. But will this work, or will it short out the computer? I guess the first thing we should do is look at how we're going to update it with these instruction booklets. So I guess we should get the laptop fired up here. According to the book, we should be able to just plug it in. Let's go to update mode. Program mode C. Oh, we're setting up, it said. When you really look at this brochure that I got of the Foxwell, it really makes you wonder. That's definitely a budget brand, considering that they ha have some high-end scanners right here. The GT80 and the GT80 Mini. So it took forever, but the software finally decided to work. I had to restart the computer once because it just seemed to froze, and now it seems to work. So let's try this again. So if I go into update mode, Okay, device connected. Press and hold the help key for five seconds to enter update mode. There's no help key. What are they talking about? What if I just go to update mode in here? Okay, device connected. See what happens. There we go. Oh, looks like something's happening. Must be updating. Updating. Program update done, it says. Okay, well the Jeep's warming up. That's a good time to try this out. Do the old link to the vehicle. Looks like we have communicated. Oh, you can look at the automatic transmission. Oh, that's a first, day. Eh? Let's look at some live data. Well, that's not very much information there. Well, let's see what the engine says. Read code should be nothing. Any pending codes? Nothing. Jeep's running fine. Let's 
school live data. Fuel system closed loop. Short term fuel trim. Long term fuel trim. Map sensor, RPM, because it's cold as frick. Spark advanced. Intake air temperature minus 8 degrees. Gives you your basic information. So the first time I was looked at the IM readiness in the transmission module and I just went into the uh, engine one and you can see everything says okay. I mean this is a very basic code reader, read codes, erase codes. The only difference is that this has, uh, I believe, an automatic transmission module. What it can read or what it can see, I'm not exactly sure because I don't have any error codes in my transmission. Something I may have to look back on later on. Now this is the part I really like that differs from other code scanners is the ability to pull up a graph. When you're in the live data, you just select whatever you want, hit enter. Hopefully you can see it. And you can view everything in a graph format, which is pretty cool. One thing I do wish though with this Foxwall OBD scanner is if the cord was just a little longer, maybe like six inches to a foot, because this is plugged in right down there. And this is about the reach you got. Once again, this is a budget scanner. You know, very affordable for like most people. This will tell you basic read codes, clear codes, whatever. Also has the graphing feature that a lot of the cheaper scanners do not have. And one thing I can't stress enough, especially with these cheaper OBD scanners, is that they are not a license to load up the parts cannon and fire parts away at your vehicle. A code that is triggered is not necessarily the issue or sensor at hand. You need to properly troubleshoot, investigate, and find out what is causing that code to be triggered. Anyways, I'm going to get going. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you for watching.